welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, it's actually, well obviously Monday today. I have started the vlog on a Monday. I know you might be shocked by that. Um, but this morning I have been to my local coffee shop because on Mondays I just find I'm not very productive. And going to the coffee shop does help me get through my emails a little bit. Um, lovely this morning though, because my mum come and surprised me. So I spoke to my mum on the phone and said that I was nipping over to the coffee shop to get some work done. And lo and behold, I reckon about half an hour of being there, maybe an hour of being there, my mum turned up. I did actually sit there and think, why is this lady coming to sit near my table? And I was thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna get someone come and sit with me and wanna to talk to me. And then I turned around, it's my mum. And obviously my mum did wanna to talk to me, but as it's my mum, that was okay. So um, it was really, really lovely to see her. I was thinking this morning how I missed her, so that was really nice. Um, and yeah, it's been a crazy weekend because Chris obviously had his theatre gig on Friday which was quite a late night. And then on Saturday, Chris is also a wedding photographer. So um, I assist him sometimes on weddings. And this weekend I was assisting him and it was such a long day. Beautiful wedding though. And they always make me so emotional because I just want it to be my wedding again. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful wedding. A very amazing like location. It was like in someone's field. And then um, Chris, like I am biased because obviously he's my husband, but he's such a good photographer. Um, so yeah, so we did that on Saturday, um, which was like a 10 till, 10 a.m. till 1 a.m. day, so it was quite a long one. Um, and yesterday we were basically a pair of zombies, so we didn't do anything, and it rained all day yesterday, it was so cosy. Literally living next to the woods, the rain sounds amazing in the trees, it's like my favourite thing ever. I guess I will let you come around with me for the week again. I hope you guys are enjoying these weekly vlogs still. Um, I really enjoy making them and it's nice that you guys tune in so yeah exciting week this week I've got a lot of stuff going on I think I'm not sure what yet but I think I've got some stuff going on again got my hair in top knot because I couldn't be bothered to wash it today but I promise I'll wash it tomorrow just for you guys <laughs> Sometimes when you watch vlogs on YouTube channels, I'm not gonna name names, but they always look perfect. My screen is dirty, which isn't helping very well together. Have no makeup on, but always look really, really good anyway. And then you wake up, look in the mirror, and you have this on the end of your nose. It's obviously gonna be a good day today. So yeah, I have a spot on the end of my nose. Actually, admittedly doesn't look that bad on this camera it looks much more bigger and vicious on my phone camera because I sent a picture to my mum this morning and she just laughed her head off of all places in my body to get a spot why here why here I just want to ask the spot god why here germaline this stinks but it's so good for spots it literally gets rid of them so quickly if you can stand the smell, then it's worth it. <laughs> <sighs> I am tired. <laughs> there was a massive storm last night and I woke up so many times during the night. I think I woke up at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., probably 5 a.m. And it was literally like, went on for hours. It felt like it went on for all night. Um, it started, well, I don't know what time it started, but it woke me up about half two. Um, and then again at three. And then me and Chris got up in the night just to turn our Macs off, like our computers, because we have a lot of stuff on them, um, especially Chris, there's a lot of weddings on his. 
Um, and obviously everything's backed up, but just in case like the, the power went and the computers blew up or something. So we both got up and did that, got back to bed, got back to sleep and then got up again to close the windows because the rain was so loud. Um, and in the new house, we've only got like wooden wooden windows and they open quite wide. Like you can't really have them closed very like small smally i don't know what i'm trying to say and um, but the rain comes in so i didn't really want to wake up soaking wet so we closed the windows and then i just felt like awake the whole time so this morning when, we, when it was time to actually get up i just feel so tired i was going to go to the coffee shop this morning and do some work because i feel like i am more productive when i go to the coffee shop but at the same time, I just can't be bothered to like make myself look presentable to go. <laughs> I wish I could just go in my pyjamas and no one could see me. Like if I was in like a bubble, an invisible bubble, and I could just sit there and do some work. I don't know where to go really. Sometimes I just get up and I just go and I know that I want to go and work in the coffee shop. But today I'm a bit like, oh, I was in there on Monday. Do I really need to go again? But I do find that I'm more productive when I work in there. As you can see from the last clip, I did go to the coffee shop and I got so much work done. I feel really, really good when I've been productive. And yeah, I got a blog post wrote, written, had a coffee, did some emails, did loads of stuff really. It was a good coffee shop trip. Um, it's really windy today and I love the sound of the wind in the trees. But look, oh, such a lovely, lovely sound. It's one of my favourites actually, as well as rain. But obviously rain at 3am, not so much. Had a bit of a sort out in my office and I have so much rubbish. Look at all this packaging. I need to like put it in the recycling bins downstairs. I'm going to do that later. Um, but my office looks so much clearer now. I've got all of this room on the floor. I just really, really want to get this room like decorated. Like it bugs me so much when I walk in here because... It's just not how I want it at all. Obviously, we've got like cream walls and a blue carpet and it's not very productive for me to be sitting in here all day. But I know I'll get there eventually. To be honest, firstly, we need to have new windows and the ceilings. They've got like Artex on. Um, so we're going to get them done first anyway. But yeah, I need to also figure out what to do with these sliding. I've got like these sliding doors here. And originally, I was going to take these out and like put a wardrobe in there. But they are quite handy. They literally go the length of the room here. And I think actually if I rip them out and put a wardrobe in, I'm kind of replacing what's already there anyway. So yeah, so I'm a bit unsure what to do with them because I don't like them in their current state. I probably could paint them. But again, I'm not really keen on this kind of metal like edging that they've got and up here like i'm not keen on this so if you guys know like any companies or you guys have done it yourself um any companies that kind of will refurb what's already here if that makes sense like put new doors on and um, that won't cost me a fortune then let me know and um, we did in the old house we did have sharps come round and measure up our bedroom because we were going to get like built-in wardrobes in there and oh my god they actually quoted us seven grand and if you guys remember from the vlogs like our bedroom in the old house wasn't very big so um also the man was really really rude like he literally chris had to ask him to leave the house he was so rude to us um Anyway, that's a long story, past that one now, but that's put me off of ever using sharps ever again. Like, I would never have a sharp salesman come around my house ever again, he was that bad. Um, so, if you mention sharps, I won't be using them, but I want that kind of thing, but I just want them to renovate what's here. I also like, God, this is going into like a wardrobe chat, but I also want to like sort out the inside, because this is like wasted space here, so I want to put some like shelves in, and maybe like paint the shelves white or do something in here so it's a little bit more attractive i was thinking on these back walls i could put some like palm leaf wallpaper or something just to like jazz it up because if i do leave these open sometimes it just looks like such a state and this is organized but it's just a bit chaotic so yeah 
I want to do that. I want to decorate the inside of my wardrobe, but I don't know if there's any point yet because, I mean, the room is the main priority really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so I actually just got sent some Zoella stuff as well, and I thought maybe I would talk you through it, like what there is in the collection, because, oh, um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing what Zoella's released, or Zoe's released. I get so excited when I get her press releases through. I think it's just because, like, obviously, as a blogger and a YouTuber, like, Zoe was probably one of the, the first blogs that I read, and, like, absolutely loved her blog anyway. And one post I remember that I read of Zoe's was about how she kept getting greasy hair, really random. And she said that she had bought a new shampoo from Boots that was like a um, product build up shampoo. And I was like, oh my God, and that literally saved my life because my hair was so greasy <clears throat> all the time and it literally saved me. Um, long story for nothing there, but that is my fondest memory of Zoella, having uh, greasy hair and figuring it out. She sent me some of her products which are the jelly and gelato range this little press release looks so cute in this picture and this is so cool it's like a 3d ice cream van that is basically the ice cream van that she had in her vlog um i watched it this morning actually so we have some of this this is a pink bath wafers there you go and this is a moisturizing bath fizzer i don't know whether i should open these up i don't really want to open them yet I mean, I'm going to use them, obviously, but probably not yet, but uh, maybe I should just open it. No, I'm going to take some pictures first, and then I'm going to open them, but yeah, that's the... Oh, my gosh. That smells so nice. That has got a really nice smell to it. So that's that one. And then we've got this, which is bath frosting, bath milk powder. Really excited to try this. I've never tried a bath powder before, um, but I do love having a bath. I don't have as many baths in this house because we've actually got a shower, um, in the old house, we didn't have a shower. Um, so I find like baths in this house are like more of a, like more of a treat. So I have a bath as a treat. Obviously I shower every day, um, but I have a bath as a treat now. So yeah, that happens a lot. So I like bath products. Let me see if I can open this. I'm trying to open this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, they're in like little um, sachets, which is really handy actually. Oh, they feel really soft. I'm not going to open them. I thought they'd be like loose, but they're in little sachets. So these are the bath powder thingamajiggies. Um, and then we have, this is so cute. Oh, my heart. It's a shower shake. So it's bath, um, moisturizing body wash. Love this bottle. It's basically like, well, a shake with a little spoon, a straw. Love it. I can actually smell this one as well. It's got foil on it. Oh my god, I love the smell of these products. They're they smell so, so nice. They're not as sweet as I thought, which I like because I'm not really into like really, really sweet scents. So these are perfect for me. Oh gosh. Sorry if you can hear the window rattling. The wind is like blowing it everywhere. And then we have the Body Pudding Body Cream, which is this little number. And this is, I think, just a moisturizing body cream. Um, and I think it's got little... Oh god, it's really hard to open. Oh, that didn't work so well. Well, I've managed to open it a tiny bit. <laughs> but from what I can see, it's pink with little pink specks in it. Again, smells really, really good. So, so good. These are going to make the cutest flat lay because of the packaging. Really like the packaging. And then lastly, I have the Zoella, um, the body mist, which I have already sprayed. Again, really, really like it. And I really like the bottle as well. It, this is the kind of bottle that you put in your office on a shelf. Just because it looks really nice. Um, if I had a nice office, if it was decorated, I would be putting this on a shelf. But I might just save it until I do. Um, but yeah, to be honest, the packaging is my favourite thing. I think this is probably my favourite, like, Zoella Beauty release. Because the packaging is just so damn pretty um but yeah so thank you to zoella and her team for sending me these bits i always love when i get a parcel of zoella on <laughs> i'm like yes <laughs> um so yeah so that is what i have got from the new range um if you guys have been trying out the new range let me know what your favorite is as well and if you are like obviously i'm 29 um so if you are like 29 plus or 20 plus and you feel like the zoella beauty range might be a little bit young for you it's not honestly this is like something i would definitely wear like 
it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Like, I think the name of it kind of makes it sound like it's going to be really sweet and sickly. But actually, it's quite like... I'm rubbish at describing scents. It's kind of like got a bit of a musky kind of smell to it. Like, it's quite like grown up. It's not as young as I thought it would be. So, um, so yeah. So, if you are slightly older and worried that the ranges won't be for you, then try this one out because I like it. it. Smells really good. So, I just realised I'll be in trouble. I haven't fed the fish today in the pond. So, I'm going to go and feed the fish. These are the only pets, pets we have. We didn't actually get them as pets. They were just in the pond when we moved in. Um, and we have got them some food. But the food is too big. So, I've now spent all of my time mashing up the food for the fish. I feel like these fish are possibly the most spoilt fish in the land of fish. Got the fish food. It's ridiculous. Don't know how impressed they were with the uh, mushed up food. They didn't actually eat it. Um, <laughs> but hopefully they were just being shy. <laughs> guys it is Thursday today and I have gotten dressed as you can see um, I put on this top today I'm not sure how I feel about it like it looks quite nice in this region but it's kind of like a baggy top and I don't know whether it makes me look like I don't know like I'm trying to cover up or something um but yeah so this is from I quite like this top today it's from Boohoo um for an all black outfit to be honest today because the weather is just so horrendous i really really like this top but it just kind of hangs a bit weird like i got it from boohoo and i kept it from an order but i can never quite make it hang right like the bow always ends up like over this side but i don't know if that's just the way i'm standing but yeah so i got this top um but anyway i am going to get ready now i'm meeting my friend today he is home from germany um i haven't seen him since our wedding um obviously he lives in Hamburg, so I don't really get to see him a lot. Um, so he's down today, so we're going to go to our favourite restaurant, which is Noodle Bar. Like, we always used to go to Noodle Bar when he lived um, here. My top knot has gone very spiky. Kind of can't be bothered to fix it. I might just leave it with a spiky effect. That works, right? <laughs> I've changed. I've gone for my trusty Free People top i love this top so much i've actually got a black version of this arriving today um because i like it that much that i've just bought it in black um but yeah i kind of oh, have one of those days where whatever i put on i feel disgusting in i think it's because i needed to wash my hair and i didn't and now i'm like i should have just washed my hair okay so i've changed one last time and that is it now i'm not changing again i'm stuck in this so really really baggy and like floaty but i do really like it and it's really comfortable as well probably needs a little iron so i might have to go and do that but um i got this in a little boutique um where i live it's got like little sequins on here and then it's like really floaty at the back and that's gonna have to do so i'm just in town just parked my car got my ticket all day ticket three pound fifty um i'm just about to go in now i'm actually a little bit early to meet my friend but i'm going to go to a few shops i want to go to mark spencer's and get some dinner because i am 80 <laughs> i don't know what it is but i just love marks although i do know what it is marks and spencer's do the most amazing gluten-free things which a lot of places don't do so that's why i'm going to go there i thought if i get all my errands done first then i can spend as much time with my friend as possible and then I can kind of chill out a bit. So I've just sat down. I haven't vlogged much today, um, as usual. Um, but me and Chris nipped out tonight. He had to look at a wedding venue that he's shooting a wedding at soon. And we took an outfit photo, which I'll insert right now, um, of a new dress that I bought from Primark today. I might show you guys later maybe tomorrow i'll show you what i picked up from primark because i got some amazing dresses in there for like 10 pound each and a really nice top as well um so yeah so i'll show you those tomorrow because i'm so tired right now and i'm gonna watch big brother because that's my guilty pleasure in life at the moment um so yeah so i'm gonna chill on the sofa now i'm wearing this like weird like jeremy kyle t-shirt 
um, I think it's from evermade.com, but it's so nice and comfy. And then I've got ni some nice leopard print pyjamas going on. Did take off my glasses. Was gonna sort out my hair, but there ain't no saving it, to be honest. Afternoon, guys. Sorry, I'm just eating a polo. It's the afternoon. Um, I had to charge up my camera battery this morning, so I couldn't actually vlog any of this morning. But all I've been doing is cleaning the house. Um, so it's not very interesting anyway. Um, we've got some friends coming around tonight for some drinks. So I just wanted to make sure everywhere was hoovered because I haven't done that for a couple of days. And um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> This is my day to day, I'm just editing this makeup video which should be on my channel by the time this video you're watching now goes live so I'll leave the link to this on the screen or down below, um, yeah, I feel so tight, look at my hair, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on, I've got so many like little baby hairs like growing through, um, yeah I feel so tired, um, I did fake tan this morning if you could tell, um, so yeah I'm feeling pretty tired today, I don't know why, because I actually had a really good night's sleep, but um, just one of those things, yeah, I need to sort out my hair and my face before I um, before tonight. I did put some um, purple shampoo in my blonde this morning, so thankfully the blonde is actually looking quite white, which is always good. Mm -hmm. 